Yo what's going on guys it's Wake here welcome to today's video in today's one guys I'm going to be showing you how to edit an insane Fortnite montage in Adobe Premiere Pro but before we get started I wanted to give a quick shout out to Brazy VFX and Zen Joshi these two hooked me up with the effects pack and the intros pack that I'm going to be using in today's video but without further ado guys let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so the first thing that you want to do before you get in any of your clips and cinematics is get your song in, okay? So just go ahead and grab it after you've imported it and put it in your timeline. Now if you have it like me where you have some video footage over your uh, song, you just want to go ahead and come over to here in the timeline and just right click it, press on link, okay? So you just have the top bit selected and then press delete and it will leave us with just this. Perfect, so now that we just have our song, let's go ahead and start adding our cinematics and all uh, the clips and effects and everything like that. Okay guys, so now that we've got our song in, all you want to do is go ahead and drag in some cinematics. You can download them off of Google or literally anywhere, okay, you can find them all over the internet. So go ahead and just try find yourself some cinematics. If you can't find yourself any cinematics, you can go into replay mode and record yourself some cinematics, okay, but just go ahead and put them in the beginning uh, part of your song here and then we'll be left with this. Okay, so you just want to have your cinematics at the beginning because this is going to be the part of our intro which is going to look really clean. So now guys, what I'm going to go ahead and do is hop over to After Effects. Now if you don't have After Effects, there are loads of ways to get it for Cracked for free. Okay, and also there'll be a link in the description below where you can find all of the templates. Now like I said guys, I wish I could take credit for these, unfortunately I can't though. Okay, so go in the link in the description below, it'll take you to a Google Drive with all the indents, which is also known as intros. Okay, so make sure you go ahead, look at them, download all of them, and then figure out which one's your favourite. And I'm going to show you how you can put your name into it, and then put it into your video. Okay guys, so now that we're in After Effects, it's actually really simple what you have to do next. Okay, it may all look complicated, but trust me, it'll make a lot of sense. Uh, now I've already edited this one so it may you know say my name and it may say Polo G But what you actually just want to go ahead and do is come down into the bottom left here It'll have somebody else's name on because like I said, it's not my personal template I didn't make them so I can't take credit for it Okay, it'll have somebody else's name on it But just go ahead and replace it to the name of you and then the name of the song that you're using in your montage Or you can write something like edited by and then the next one could say you know your name or whoever's editing the montage Okay so that is the one way that you can go ahead and do your intro after you've done that just go to file okay press save and that's pretty much all that you guys have to do now we're going to head back over into premiere pro and i'm going to show you how you can make it look all nice on your intro so now that we're back in premiere pro i'm going to show you how you can properly import your intro because i know some of you may struggle with this part so go ahead and right click over here press import okay and then after that's shown up just click the one that you've literally just saved into your file now when this shows up go ahead and click comp one and then press ok okay because that if you don't do that right it will not import properly then guys you can just go ahead and drag it over your cinematics like this okay and put your cursor over it like this because i know sometimes it will come up like this uh it's all like zoomed in and it's looking really weird but don't panic go ahead and click it in the timeline down here okay and then after you've done that come up here to where it says effects control right above your clips so after you're here in the effects control guys you go ahead and just drag down the scale i'm gonna put mine to around about like i don't know 20 uh yeah no we'll put it to around about 30 so that it just looks nice and clean and then guys you'll be left with this Okay guys, so what you may have noticed is that the cinematic kind of drags out quite a bit after it's showing the text. So what we're going to go ahead and do guys, is go ahead and just shorten the cinematic but make it a bit quicker. So right click it and then go to speed slash duration, there it is. Okay, and I'm going to crank mine up to around about 190. Okay, so now guys, we'll be left with this. Okay, so you guys saw it was a lot shorter and a lot nicer. Also, if your cinematic, or sorry, your intro sort of comes in like this, go ahead and just snip it off after the text is finished displaying, okay, because then it will all be fine. Just like that, guys. So now, without further ado, let's get into adding our clips, effects, transitions, everything like that. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, to make your montage really clean at the beginning, you want to go ahead and find the first 
beat drop there is in the song so i'm going to quickly listen to mine and see when i can find it and when you do find it try pause it exactly on the beat drop okay guys so i've paused it exactly where the beat drop is and what you just want to do is go ahead and press m okay and it'll pop a little green marker there just like that so that you can go ahead and easily line up your clips then guys you want to go ahead and import your clips so i'm going to grab mine by the way again these are not my clips either i'm not this good at fortnite okay so without further ado i'll be back in a second when i have my clips in okay guys so now that i have my clips i'm going to go ahead and put them in one by one so i'm going to start with this one here i'm pretty sure this is a mongrel clip so you just want to go ahead and put it in like that okay uh but actually i messed up there so don't put it in line with the audio okay you just want to sort of place it like this so that these two audios don't mix up and cut each other out okay and then what you guys want to go ahead and do is turn off the little magnet over here so it's more accurate okay and then you want to stretch this inwards okay and you want to drag your uh first clip over this way towards the marker so that you can line up exactly as you shoot them with the beat drop so I'm going to go ahead and do it and then I'll get straight back to you guys. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and lined it up. So now I'm going to quickly play it so you guys can see what I mean by killing them on the beat drop. Okay guys, so that's what I meant. You guys saw that I killed him as the beat dropped and it's going to look really clean when we add our effects. So I'm going to go ahead and teach how to do that now. Okay guys, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to come into exactly where the marker is again. All right. And you just want to go ahead and split the clip. Okay. This will pretty much allow us to add our effects, slow down the clip, make it look all nice and neat, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and show you what effects you can use that look really clean together, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. Okay, guys, so the first effect that we're going to go ahead and use is come into the effects uh, tab up here and just type in Glimmer, okay? And it'll show up as UNI Glimmer, okay? This is from one of the packs that we've downloaded in the description. And go ahead and just drag and drop that onto the clip like this, okay? Then what I recommend that you guys do is come into the threshold and you can edit this to however you really like it, okay? You can have less by, you know, turning it up, okay? Or you can have more by tuning it down a bit, okay? So uh, I'm probably just going to keep it how it is, okay? At around about 85, okay? That's the normal. And there you guys go. You now have this sort of glimmer effect on the kill. Okay? So now guys what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add ourselves a camera shake so just go ahead type in shake okay and then just go ahead and pop it in like this so now we're left with this okay guys so now that it has that little sort of cool uh shaking and the glimmer sort of effect what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to show you how you can also change the clip just beforehand. So this little bit here to make it look a lot neater and a lot cleaner and add that just final bit of, oh, yo, that clip is sick. Okay, so let's get into that. Okay, guys, so now that we've added our effects to this clip here, you want to do one more thing that makes the clip a lot cleaner in my opinion. Okay, you want to come up back here into the effects tab and just want to type in Lumetri Color. There you go and it's under this little uh, color correction folder and you just want to drag and drop it onto this clip here okay it's to around about three quarters of the way through i'd say okay and then come into the effects controls panel like we've been doing pretty much this whole time i'm down here to where it says creative in the lumetri color thing this might get a bit complicated so please do try keep up okay click the creative one little arrow so it drops down okay uh that doesn't really do anything <laughs> um okay and then come down here to saturation if the cursor is on the right uh part of the clip go ahead and tap the little stopwatch here okay then go ahead and put your cursor exactly where it splits i'm gonna yep there and then press the add slash remove keyframe okay do that and then drop the saturation here all the way down to zero then guys once it's all rendered it'll look perfectly smooth okay so that's kind of what it's going to look like now guys what we're going to do is we're going to quickly move over our intro so that it's you know perfectly all like in line and stuff okay so move it to here okay and move that to uh, we'll put it about halfway through i reckon 
but there you go okay and then you just grab your razor tool and you cut off all of this excess bit of this song here at the beginning okay and then you just select the whole thing like this okay and you drag it and you put it all the way at the beginning how you do it okay select it all no please stop doing this oh my god okay well i'm gonna quickly you know uh sort it all out fix it all up so there's no big bits of the song left at the end and then i'm gonna render it all and once i've got that all done i'll be right back with you guys okay guys so now that we have the finished final product all rendered in the 1080p quality we're gonna go ahead and give it a quick watch so let's get into it <laughs> Okay guys, now I know that was a very short little clip, but I just wanted to show you how you can make a really cool effect on your clips and also make a cool little intro. And before I end off the video, I wanted to quickly say thank you for banging over 100 views on my first video, that really does mean a lot. Uh, if this video did help you, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. If you have any sort of questions, you can put them in the comment section below. But please turn on post notifications if you do subscribe, just so that you'll be notified when I go live or when I upload, because I'm going to be streaming soon. So yeah, I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.